A tribute to my beautiful wife, Pamela Colbreth. Happy birthday, Pamela. I hope you have a wonderful and lovely day as much as you possibly can. How do I explain Pamela? Feisty, loving, strong, diligent, steadfast. A wonderful wife and mother. A Proverbs chapter 31 woman of God. Feisty Pam at a young age. She fought off the bullies that threatened her older brother Jimmy. She flushed her brother, Jimmy's wedding shoes down the toilet on his wedding day. She tried to fight or wrestle me when we first got married. Pamela, the friend loved by everyone. The quiet listener and counselor. A brilliant mind that could recall hundreds of songs and sing them verse by verse by memory. Amazing. Her mother, Darlene Mears and grandmother, Opal Dove also had a brilliant mind and recall. How we met. Pamela's great-grandparents, Harry and Eva Blessman. Pamela would come visit them at Faith Farm Church. We met as teenagers on a church boating cruise event. We both went to Stranahan High School. Pamela had the flu and returned to high school. Our eyes met upon her return. I smiled and said, Hello Pamela. How are you doing today? That was a moment she never would forget. A big smile and positive word to encourage her after her sickness. After high school, Pam had a saying, If you want the measles, you have to get exposed. Pam's church had a lot of teenage girls, not guys. Faith Farm had the boys. She came to Faith Farm to chase the boys. We did some dating before we both went to International Bible College. We graduated IBC and began dating again summer of 1980. We got married at age 23, December 23, 1980. My wedding proposal to Pamela. I asked Pamela if she would marry me. She gave me a conditional response. I will marry you, if I can come home and raise our children at home. Pamela wanted to not work outside the home, homeschool and raise our children as a homemaker. I agreed. Seven years later we adopted Jonathan. Eight years after that, Joshua was born. After 15 years of marriage, we had two boys. At one time we had no hope for any children. Something I did not know about Pamela until many years later. She had red hair. Pamela was a lifeguard and was exposed to the bright Florida sunshine most of the time. This caused her hair, when we were dating, to be a strawberry blonde. We moved to Georgia, away from the Florida sunshine when Pamela was 27. Pamela's beautiful red hair can be seen in her picture in a black blouse with her hands folded. Pamela was age 30 in that picture. One of my favorite pictures of Pamela. Ministry together. We both worked together at Faith Farm Ministries. Pamela as teacher in our Christian school. I was a staff member working with the men. In the year 1988-1989, we ministered together at Okeechobee Faith Farm Phase 3 ministry training. I taught the men. Pamela did child care so the others could attend the training also. Pamela opened our home in hospitality to the students and members of the church. Pamela and I taught marriage class together on Sunday afternoons. In the year 1993, Pamela and I did puppet team ministry together. The puppet skit was called, Whosoever's House. The theme was from John 3:16. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Whosoever will believe and come to Jesus will have everlasting life. In the years 2000-2004, we did the kids' ministry together in Silver Springs, Florida. We taught Sunday morning children's church together. I did the Pioneers for Christ Boys Ministry on Wednesday nights. Pamela, a faithful godly woman, wife and mother. I love you sweetheart. Happy birthday. Thank you for 44 wonderful years together. Your loving husband, Louis.